society which consists of highs or lows depending upon the individual person three kinds of highs of guys talking to chicks a juicer high right it's got to say to the chick um I, uh, you got a great ass baby a hot high guy says wow you got a groovy body mama i'm telling you groovy now an acid high guy says are you a chick or a guy? Said I got a sister, honey. She's a real gone twister now. Now, you can do that quite oh, oh. It's got to blow your mind, children. I can't be a hippie. I can't be a hippie because I come from a paranoid generation. What I mean is like somebody said, there's somebody at the door, boom, you flush the toilet. <laughs> you know. You know, and you hope that the fuzz thought, you know, like the guy said, they got rid of it, they flushed it, man, so they didn't even come in, you know, man. That was it. We were all really paranoid. You didn't trust your friend. You know, everybody was a snitch. That was it. And to, for me to get into the love generation is a, is a true trip because, first of all, I have enough problems living with me and being with me. I can be with all them people, man, who are walking around going, yay, look at us. Here, officer, have a joint. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> hey, man, that's a bust. If you were to love in, or a be in, or a what in, or a together in, man, and you were just wandering along and listening to the smell of the incense, which is where it is, right? You know, and having phony say, here, try a little banana. Ooh, the hype of the century, right? Banana. Boy, you know the banana industry laid that on the world, man? Kept walking up now. What are we going to do with all these lousy bananas? They're rotting on the port. What are we going to do? Well, we'll get like a groovy guy to say, you can get high on bananas. We know there's a lot of shit smokers, baby. <laughs> So I believe there's a game somewhere all involved togetherness. So like if a hippie guy is talking to a hippie chick, dig, you know, the beads beautifulness, man, he's got to say to her, because I know I love you, baby. And she's got to say to him, oh, wow, I love you, daddy. And he's got to say, hey, wow, baby, you're so groovy and beautiful. And she would say, hey, you're groovy and beautiful, daddy. And he would say, hey, mama, you know what? You're too beautiful not to be free and a butterfly and a child of the sky and a Lucy, man, and just be up there with everything. And she says, oh, yeah. He says, anything you want to do, you should do. She says, I like to ball your friend Herbie. <laughs> he says, fuck him, man. <laughs> hey, man, just because you're wearing beads and short story, you can't fall in the street, man. <laughs> so the game ends somewhere, right?
Chicks Today. I, I got to talk about Chicks Today because Chicks Today are a different kind of chicks than used to be chicks. Chicks years ago used to be like good chicks and bad chicks. Good chicks let you feel the outside of their brassiere, maybe, if they were very drunk on Southern Comfort and Coke. Bad chicks let you and 80 guys line up. They've got Sylvia in the pool room. <laughs> you know, and you, you were shopping for your mother, and you get online with the bundles, right? Number 42. <laughs> Number 42 online with the bundles, right? Standing there, right? Right? And trying to figure out, you see a friend of yours up front about number seven. Hey, Al! <laughs> Hi! You know, there's a kind of a togetherness in being on a line in a gangbang. It's absolutely wild. Like, there's a thing. Various kinds of chicks have their own syndrome answer, as every guy has his own game that he plays with chicks. Like, you know, some guys play the It's Life or Death We Live Today gig. You know. I knew you knew. This is at a cocktail party. He walks over to chicks and says, I knew you knew. I knew. The minute I looked at you, a moment happens, and we knew we knew. I mean, you knew I knew, and I knew you knew. And we knew. You with anybody? <laughs> right? That's, uh, that's, uh, that's one. The other one is, if you work in pairs, guys do other things, like they'll send their friend up to the chick, right? And the guy, the, the other guy just stands in the corner looking groovy. And the friend runs over and says, look, I don't know you. But there's a guy at the party, don't go near him, he's an evil bastard. And he does up chicks like 12 a day, man. And no chick's ever been able to hold him. So the chick's saying, oh, really? Which one's he? Because <laughs> chicks really dig evil guys, you know. And it turns him right, oh, she's right on to him in a minute. What's your name, eh? That's a, a beautiful. The other, the other way of uh, doing it with uh, scoring on chicks is, uh, this is the poetic approach. Somewhere the bells crystal shatter my soul. <laughs> Emerson, baby. And the cat is a whore, man. Stands there and blows all this poetry of his chick for a cup. That's true, prostitution, I should say. Uh, I did a tour with the Baja Marimba Band, a rather groovy group of guys. And we toured such groovy towns as Mobile, Alabama, and Lafayette, Louisiana. Really great places, you know. Lot to do in those towns. Whoopee. Go to the library and look at the book, you know, which had one, it was the Bible. Had one page in it. It said he came, we saw he was Jewish, and we killed him. <laughs> Man, really, you want to be panicked. Right, and I'm there. Now... In every group, like, there's one guy who's a snake for chicks. I mean, one guy who's, like, going to be on chicks in every town he gets. You know, he runs into the town. Everybody else checks into the Holiday Inn. Zang! He's out on the street, man, you know, with albums under his arm, running into the J.C. Penney saying to chicks, I'm from Hollywood. I'm with the Bahama Remember Band. Hi, baby. I love you. And so, here, come to the concert tonight. You know, he's really in it because he's going to score no matter what happens. And he scores with a chick who's working in the local luncheonette who's about 42, weighs about 146 pounds. You can see her girdle line. And she's got, like steel gray blue hair with rimless glasses but he scores so he lays it right. I'm going to score tonight man I got it down boy I'm going to suck it to her and he's yelling all these things he's 